Hello. Motherfucker. Hello, motherfuckers. No, I'm not calling you guys that. But you've seen that little boy, right? Before I give you guys a tip, and pull me out. Today is, there is burritos in the house. This one is beans. Frijoles con chorizo. Ah, you remember I told you I was craving it so much? Frijoles con chorizo and she put a lot of cheese on it, my daughter, to it. And this one is huevito with onions. And we're going to have some cola. Cola. No, it's not. Diet Pepsi Cola. So it is cola. And any... Thing you hear in the background, music, and such. Um, I don't own one. I don't own the rights to it. Thank you very much, Jordan. I don't own the rights to it. Uh oh. And let's hope my microphone up here. I'm just kidding. And uh, we do have Alexa in the house. No kidding. Alexa, turn the lights on. Alexa. How about Alexa Tara? I guess Alexa's not here. We also have Siri. Siri. Siri, abre tu cola. Siri, abre tu cola. Oh, Siri doesn't like to abre her cola. No, not really. I'm just, I'm just fucking with you. But, um... As crazy as I am, I'm not lying. If I was still young and didn't have my kids, and I had twin girls, I would their name one Siri and one Alexa. Hi guys. I would. I would. I'm that crazy. Cheers. Bad bitch, you guys. I think it tastes a little bit better than Diet Coke, to be honest. Diet Coke has a, a little bit of a, the remote. Put a new battery in there. What, what size of battery does it weigh? It's, um, two, double A or triple A? Three A's. Déjame ver, se me hace que aquí tengo un pack. Mi manera de quererte no tienes ubicación. Wicca, yeah, Wicca from, yeah. Hoy quisiera devorarte a besos. Y no sé cómo decírtelo. Que me estoy volviendo loca. Mm -hmm. I know I have a pack of batteries in this car. I have everything in this car. No extra makeup. A ver, tienes tu goma que no van a contar los números. Ve a buscar las pilas allá en mi cuartica. ¿Y en los cajones? Yes. ¿Cuál es el triple A again? Three A. Three A. Three A. Three A. Three A's. Let me get this one. Yesterday, my friend Rosie from church, my sister in Christ, she brought me a pumpkin. I haven't gone to one of the uh, food pantries in a long time, but I think she went to one and she brought me whatever she didn't need or use. Meet me. Meet me. They don't mean cooking instructions. This is campfire chili. Guys, I love fucking chili beans. I love chili beans to the... To the beans, my ass. To the mix. Anyway, but she brought me a pumpkin. It's a pretty good size. And I told Jesse, I said, Okay. Even if they're new, okay. Yes, I did. It's que ahorita se me cayó en el agua. No mames, güey, en serio? Yeah. Estás bien pendeja, güey. You have to open it now. Go get my blow dryer and sit on the potty and blow dry the fuck out of it. 
Well, I just dried it with the pan. Obviously, it didn't dry yeah. or else it would grab, you know? Just uh, fix. Leave it to somebody I'm to no do dryer, something. I, I have a blow jobber right there, a blow dryer. When you sit on the potty, there's a towel behind. There's my plancha and... It's not wet because the drops would have been coming out. It's wet. You fucking dropped it in water. It's wet. Believe me, it's wet. That's why it's not changing or nothing. ¿Qué te hiciste tu mami? ¿Qué te Igual como yo. I don't know. She doesn't like onions too much. Like I love onions, two, three, four guys. Four this is my first bite and it's frijoles con chorizo. Just okay? go and try it. Just Try it how? Mm. I don't want to open it, take off the berry, all over it, turn it around. You can put it in the dryer. She would put it in the dryer. Oh, get another one here. The way. No captas, is it? No captas. Mm -hmm. I forget my insulin. Can you get it for me? I walked out there without my walker. Well, oh, my, my therapist just left, Angelica. Um, she does my therapy for my walking. She has me doing exercises that maybe for y'all would be easy, would be a snack. But for me, it's very hard. Let me put my insulin Take on. Take one there. of those. That one big bottle. The big one bottle. This one? Yeah. What is it? What is it, Mom? It's Pepper Benton? It's the new medicine. Zen Pep. Zen Pep. Just one? Mm-hmm. What are these for? The one I gave you last night. I remember. For your pancreas. For that one? Pancreas. Oh, this is to help my pancreas. My pancreas is stirring now. That's stupid too. It's not only the age, it's just that I have diabetes and I never took care of it when I was younger. And I was very big. I was a big mama. I was... The last that I weighed was 325 pounds. For all of you new people that don't know things about me, I was very big. And then when I... I had a little boy while I was pregnant, while I was that big. One day when I was about six months pregnant, maybe... Um, I bloated up. I swole up from water retention. And como quien dice, it's a straw that yeah. broke the camel's back. It was those 20 pounds that just went into me and swole up. <laughs> it didn't. Those other 20 pounds was too much for my back. My back couldn't take it. Well, so I uh, herniated five discs in my lower back. No. Very, very, very. Mama, if I draw it, draw it. We're just going to have to leave it there till it dries out. Just put a napkin under it. And every 10 minutes, maybe flip it over. Just leave it out like that. Let me know. Here. Awesome. Pásame la botella. Pásame la cola. Sí. Make sure it wasn't. ¿En qué agua se te cayó la de Clorox de Asincho, verdad? Yes. ¿Te imaginas? Sí, esto va a andar lisa, ¿eh? ¿Y qué te importa andarlo agarrando para tirarlo, güey? I didn't throw it. It just slipped on the wall. Por eso te estoy diciendo. Why did you get it? Was an accident, yeah, I know. Yeah, so I can't see with my little eyes. Hey, do you know? Oh, it's a little bit.
Y lo voy a hacer. I can push okay, ¿verdad? It's already open. It's already open? No, I mean... I mean like this. I know. Guys, imagine if she don't fuck it up. Then we're going to have to buy one of those universal remotes and those suck. Oh, let me finish talking. So then, one of my good friends, she would tell me, mm -hmm. what are you going to do when you have the baby? And I was like, what do you mean, what am I going to do? And she don't want to offend me. Shout out to Rachel. My Raquelito. Rachel was my provider for seven years. After I had my baby. No, no OBGYN wanted to take care of me because I was a very high risk. And then I had already fucked up my discos and all that. I didn't know what her needed discs were. I did I just knew that my back hurt like a motherfucker and the back pain was so intense that I couldn't walk. I couldn't walk. It wouldn't let me walk. Um, where did you put my coffee? Oh, we started using a wheelchair like I didn't do anything to it. I didn't, no, no. I didn't buy it. I don't know. Did you buy it? Yes, I bought it. What else? Finally, this doctor got me. Forever grateful with her, Dr. Makanchu. Monique Makanchu. Very good doctor. And she, she did it. She, she, she helped me have my baby. But hold on. When I had her, you know, she told me, and it's true. Don't spray it on the food or anything, Samantha. What is she doing? Oh. I said, um, Qué bueno que te coman las moscas. Mira, you hear it? I hope the flies eat you and your muck bangers. I mean, me you. Let me hand you this. That's weird. You didn't. They got this. And they're cool, they kind of twist like that around. Like that. Fixed it. Fixed it. Fixed it. Fixed it. Remember, she cast the spell on it. Why are you watching now? So then I said, fuck it, I need to lose weight. A huevo. Now it's a huevo. Or else I'm not. Do you see that triangle? That's like a Luminati. Did you know that? That was a film. Luminati uh, has to do with it. It wasn't a triangle. It was a, the film roll going back. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Luminati, you want me to tell you something? And it's and it's a it's a it's a true fact, okay? I used to read up a lot on it back yeah, in the day. See. Um, there is a laundry detergent called Cheer. Cheer, it had been said that they had they associated with Satan. There were um, Satan worshippers, whatever the the founders, the makers of Cheer. And other cleaning supplies that were made by Procter and Gamble, and they would say whenever you see something like a household cleaning supply, and it says, "Is that pray?" Yeah. Oh, we're gonna watch pray. P R E Y. Watch it. What channel are we on? YouTube. We're watching on YouTube. It looks real clear, eh? Se muy bonita. Watch it. I used to have this movie. It's pretty because this uh, little jeep gets stuck out there in the desert or wilderness, wherever they're at, and here comes lions and tigers and bears, oh my, and they're going to attack them, especially at night time. And so they are the prey, the people are the prey. 
Ay, también, también chida. Watch it, I recommend it. Mm. So I got on the ball. Because of I was in so much pain every day. It pushed me to lose faster. Before I knew it, I had already lost 130 pounds, okay? 130. But I lost it so fast that my underarms were hanging, you know? I could have I could have exercised when I lost all that weight, but I couldn't because of the pain. My legs were worse than jello. My hips don't lie. I have hips and they go like this. My boobs. They were so beautiful and they were appearing really like melons. Honestly. And these ones went and then they fell to the floor, guys. They fucking fell to the floor. My beautiful boobs. And then, One day I went to my doctor, and he says, because by then I had to apply for disability because I couldn't do nothing, 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 nothing. That was too much pain. I was granted it, right, because it, it was like life and death, to be honest. Some more mac and cheese. I could have had a heart attack, whatever, you know. <clears throat> Just the way that I ate. This is nothing. I know a lot of y'all can eat a burrito and be fine. And that's your lunch or your dinner or whatever. I, I'm not like, okay, I used to eat because I loved flour tortillas, right? And I'm going to be honest with you. I could eat a dozen a day, neta. So I would get up in the morning and get my little girl ready for a daycare or school, whatever. Daycare. And I would make whatever, you know, eggs with wingy or sausage or bacon, whatever. Whatever I made for breakfast. Pile it all on my plate. Heat up four tortillas. Four flour tortillas. Okay. You know, rip it. I loved it. I love food. And I'm a very good cook. So my food was damn yummy. Damn you. Then lunchtime came around. Oh. <laughs> came around. She likes beans. Eh? Did you know she likes beans? Yesterday I gave her a little piece, something like that, smaller. She, she doesn't ate. want that. She wants huevo. Tiene huevo, mi amor. A huevo. Huevos con pelos. One day my doctor went to the doctor and since I had already lost all my weight, I looked awful like this. I wouldn't wear muscle shirts, hell no. Because it looked, I was embarrassed, it looked awful, awful. Fair. Probably use something you'll be like, what is it, senora, you know? They are very last My stomach was like this, but. Mm, All the extra skin was overlapping and coming down my thigh, like all a while ago. Look it up on YouTube, people that have lost 150 pounds, whatever. How they end up, and then they look all, and then I looked all like, I don't know, man. I looked like I was sick, to be honest. So when my doctor tells me, mm -hmm. awesome. do you know that with your insurances, because now I have Medicare and Medicaid, will pay for the removal of your, of your stomach. And I said, are you serious? Let's get to it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. So, we went home. I talk, we talked about it, me and my husband. Of course, I wanted to look better, of course. I was already feeling a little bit less pain because I lost all that shit. But I still had it hanging there, you know? 
This is uh, scrambled eggs with onion. Eliana, ¿qué hiciste? ¿Qué dijo? I don't know, I just heard something. Fall. She just scratches her nail. Cola. <laughs> and the titties. Ooh, titties. Mm -hmm. For real, guys. You want to see my titties before? Mm -hmm. And girls. Even women would look at them. And I know they didn't look at them like a... A way like, oh girl. They just look at them like, damn, those are big. They were like this, though, like up here. What's that? Grossy. Sorry, Grossy. I can't talk to you right now. I'm on my milk bag. So, yeah. Oh, so then I was like, tell my husband, oh, yes. Como me voy a ver? How am I going to look, you know, all fucking sexy little wasted and the tight abs and all that shit like Thalia and then all this shit hanging. So we talked to the doctor and they approved my husband because he had pretty good credit. Uh, I approved him something like 7300 $7, like a medical credit card. For me to get uh sorry arm lift and a thigh lift so I'm full of scars down here besides the uh removal of the stomach I guess it's considered liposuction I don't know I don't know but it's called a panicolectomy panicolectomy and it removed all of this shit by doing that they had to cut and pulled down, right? So my belly button was gonna end up down there in my, you know, sexy place. So I wasn't gonna have a belly button, guys. Now then he tells me, well, you're you're gonna have to lose your belly button. And I was like, oh my God. And I was like, oh my God. And she goes, well, you don't need it. I mean, we don't need our belly buttons. And I said, can you, like, make one, a fake one or yeah. something? So I don't look old, you know? What if I go out there in a bikini wing? Bikini wing, a hot dog. And, you know, people are going to be, you and that lady don't again? have a damn belly button. Turn on pain again. That's not good. He said, Why doing that? they could make me a belly button, you know? For another seven thousand dollars and I said fuck it. No, I'm gonna stay without a belly button in Mula. Later later on I was like, maybe I could get a really good tattoo artist to uh to make me a fake a, a tattoo. I see three D dimensional so it could look like it's a real belly button. But I never did it anyways. But anyways um When they pulled my pubic line, pelvic line up to attach everything, right? That killed off a lot of the cells on my, like on my punani. And so when, whenever I was done and everything, it was like real dark right here. You could see the line where they did it. And then from here down to my wicha, it was dark, like almost a green. It looked ugly. But little by little, the color went away, so now it's normal. But I was scared because I said, damn, is this going to look like that for the rest of my life, I feel? Anyways, I ended up uh, losing, but I couldn't move because of the pain. So you basically stay in bed for like two months, I believe. You know, I, I would walk, I would walk all folded like this because it fucking hurt. I felt like if I, if I was going to straighten up, that my stomach was going to rip. Así se sentía neta, en culero. So sorry, little by little, being able to stand up oh, no. straight. Oh, no. And the doctor would tell me, sit on a chair and keep, you know, going like this. Just tell you, reach the point of being upright, you know. Mm. And then... And then one day, Is that your se les antojó, ¿verdad? 
cebolla and huevito. It's real good. I, I love onion. I don't know, like eggs. Once in a while, not too often. Woman near me. What, what are you, you going to want to do? That's your show, but you, what is you're that? stupid. That's why you you call it my show, because I, I, I saw a little woman. I said I was trying to scroll and it pressed Dude, okay. there used to be a movie. And my mom loved it, and I don't think I ever saw it. It's called Dr. Shivago, the, the island of Dr. Shivago, I think. Manoma and I always said I wanted to see it, but I've never seen it. Manoma? I think it was from the early 70s, though. And then, like... So you know how to live about that sriracha with the Tabasco? And it was good the first couple of days, but now I... It tastes weird. Like mm. sweet. Like sweet. Um. Oh, papa yeah, papa Remember there was one called Miguel? I can. Mm. Uh, red salsa and a red salsa. Oh, can I have a napkin? Yeah. And anyways, guys. Uh -huh. Okay, the doctor said, okay, I want you to start walking little by little. Boom, and then I go back to the doctor. I want you to start going around the block. Boom. Once I started getting used to it and shit, and I want you to start jogging. Okay, boom. Whatever time it took, I don't remember. Oh, and then when they removed all that shit from me, there was another 20 pounds. So I lost a total of 150 pounds. So... The lowest that I weighed was 172. And I'm not lying when I tell you, I looked so fucking hot. Oh my God. I felt so sexy. I never in my life thought I was going to look that way. Right now, I'm at 220. I would love to go down at least to 185. 180, 185. Ellie's in there. when I got her. Yesterday, right? Yeah. Yeah, 20 hours ago. Yesterday, my mood bomb, remember, guys? If you saw it? You there? I, I, I got my dog, Ellie. You win the team? I used to always get in my first, the beginning of my mood bomb career. My I hadn't gotten there in a long time, I said, hi. All my newbies can see my doggy. Her name is Doggy Star. No, not really. Her name is Ellie. Ellie, I don't like that name. Mom? No, not offending anybody. Not offending anybody. It's too white, no? And we're Hispanic, you know? And I was like, why are you going to call her Ellie? Just call her Chata because her face is, you know, how their face is Chata. All flat. I was like, call her Chata. And they're like, no, no, no. Call her. And then I said, call her Chula. That's my nickname. Chula suited her because that went Chula. No, 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 okay, Ali. Hmm? So when she went to get her shots and all that, it, the doggy went under Ellie and then our last name. I was going to say it. I've said it before, my last name. I think so, yeah. My last name is Gloria. Just like Gloria do Dios, Gloria. Gloria en lo alto. And so, yeah, her name okay. is Ellie Gloria, uh, which I don't like. But um, then when she, oh my God, we couldn't open the door because this little bitch would fly out of nowhere like a bat out of hell. Oh my madre. And to catch her, she's very. <laughs> What's wrong with you guys? I thought you guys were laughing at me because I wanted to. Entonces. <laughs> King Kong. Should we watch you on TV tonight? Is it King Kong? <laughs> Sorry, guys. We got a little I'm inside sorry. joke under gorillas. Anyways, so well, yeah. I jogged every day. I jogged. I. I uh, had my. my ¿Cómo se llama? ¿Cómo se llama la caminadora que tenía? No. 
Walker, treadmill. Treadmill. I did my treadmill. I put the girls in Zumba and I would sit there and do, do this. You know, before when I was in pain, I couldn't do it the whole shebang. So I would just... Stephen King is good, huh? Oh, baby. Isn't he the one that did it? Stephen I'd King? swim. Oh, but it's by Stephen King, but Tim yeah. Curry. Just Tim anything Curry that I could do. This body got so fucking sexy, but I could not get my waist back. I had a waist when I was fat. And now that I, that I had lost weight, I, I didn't have a waist no more. But my legs were getting real nice. I didn't like, when I lost all the weight, my legs were so ugly. They look like chicken legs. I don't like them. Like the ankles, real skinny. And I lost my hips. I lost a lot of my ass. I lost my sexy boobs. I just, I think I was better when I was fat. Más bueno, pues. Mm-hmm. Anyways, after my husband passed away, I couldn't do none of that anymore. I just felt too depressed. So I just stayed in bed and bed. And I gained like, probably like 40 pounds. So now I need to lose that. And while I was trying to lose the weight, no, I gained another 20 because I've been laying in bed because of my heel store that I have. It's gone already, but I, I doctor's orders, I'm not allowed to step on my foot. I got a little shoe on. I showed it to you guys already. I got a little shoe. Guys, I'm going to let you go because this is going to stop. And I don't want it to.